the pull. question I'm asking is going to be hypothetical. If, if in fact, the scientific problems could be solved, if, in fact, uh, uh, after uh, years or decades of investigation, the, these, uh, these unwanted side effects of a genetic intervention could happen, would that mm. change your point of view? Well, in, in June 2000, President Clinton announced in the White House the, the sequencing of the human genome. Uh, we now know that actually it's hugely more complicated than was presented then. Actually, it's getting more and more complicated. So actually, the problem really is that it's becoming less and less predictable. But that's why my question is hypothetical. Uh, it, it, or unless you're saying you, you think it will I never happen. I don't think we can answer a moral question on a hypothetical point. We have to answer it on a practical point. Are we prepared to cause damage to children which they don't deserve? Well, I, I, I think the, the point that um, we're trying to make here is that there's huge diversity in the human genome among people. And if there are people in the world who have a particular form of a gene which gives them a health advantage, we know uh, what that is. We can study that in those people. And that uh, eliminates the experimentation part of this. We have a very, we have a very uh, elaborate system in this country of uh, allowing or not allowing people to be involved in clinical trials. The safety issues that have to be taken care of. There's institutional review boards. The, it, now, if you were a woman who wanted uh, such procedures to be done, one of the first questions you would ask is, uh, has this been done uh, within a clinical trial setting with the government's imprimatur, or is this being done uh, at a hospital that has really no accountability to any national bioethics uh, system? In fact, these experiments were done in violation of a de facto rule uh, by the federal government because they used private funds. So there is really not a good clinical trial that was used to suggest that these procedures were safe. There's a lot of risks that these women took. There's one other thing, of course, is that the data also curiously changed halfway through. So we don't actually know how many embryos really were abnormal. That's a big problem.